What's going on, everybody? Crazy Dog back for another video. And spring training is officially in the books. And now it's time to get down to business. Baseball is officially back. Now, for my Indians, our season doesn't start until 10 o'clock tomorrow night against Seattle. So, uh, gotta wait a whole freaking day to watch some Indians baseball. But hey, I'm fine with that, right? I mean, baseball's freaking back. Now, hopefully, my Indians uh, can finish the job this year. And uh, hopefully bring home a World Series title. That'd be freaking lit. But 162 games is a very, very, very long season to go through. So a lot can change. And uh, not really going to come out here boasting saying, we're going to win the World Series this year. Because this team's got a lot of new parts to uh, incorporate into the team. So it may take a little bit. But uh, I'm confident that we will be fighting for the World Series come October. Now, uh, I think we're going to be in the playoffs this year. I think we're going to win the Central because looking at the Central Division right now, three of the four teams in our division are rebuilding. And that just leaves the Minnesota freaking Twins and us battling for the AL Central this year. And if you really think the freaking Twins are going to win the Central, oh boy, you trippy. Of course, if they wind up winning the Central, I'm going to come out here and say, damn, I was wrong. But, I mean, come on, really? You really think the Indians are going to let the Twins win the Central? You've got to be kidding me. But like I said, 162 games is a very, very long season. It's a marathon, not a sprint. So we'll see what happens as the season goes along. But anyways, let's talk about this series against the Mariners. So I got the uh, starting matchups in the mound for this series. Uh, we got the two-time Cy Young Award winner, Corey Kluber, on the mound going against Felix Hernandez. Then we have an off day. And then we got Carlos Cookie Carrasco on the mound against James Paxton. And ending out the series on April Fool's Day, we got Trevor Bauer, a.k.a. Drone Boy, going up against Mike Leak. That ain't no joke. I'll tell you that much. Hmm. I think Trevor Bauer's going to have a really good year this year. Let's hope. But uh, I think the pitching rotation will be one of our strengths. And it has been one of our strengths for a very long time. Now, one of our weaknesses is our bullpen. It's just the depth of our bullpen. We lost Brian Shaw, one of our key pieces to our bullpen last year. The dude ate up innings like a fat guy eating pizza. Like, he was so consistent, although at times he would give up the occasional game winner and piss off all us Indians fans. You know, towards the end of the season, he actually looked pretty good. So, uh, you know, good luck, Brian, you know, wherever you went. I think it's Colorado, I think. I don't even know, <laughs> to be honest. But um, have fun wherever you went, Brian. And uh, I don't think we see them this year, so uh, that's kind of cool. You know, it's going to be sad not seeing uh, – Brian Shaw go out there with his awkward uh, wind-up. But, hey, it's whatever. We got to move on. And um, we still got Andrew Miller. We still got Cody Allen. So the back end of our bullpen is still as deadly as ever. That's good. But um, one of my favorite parts of this team is the offense. And looking at our lineup, it's as deadly as ever. Of course, uh, we did lose Carlos Santana. He went to Philly. I really thought we could have kept him, but, I mean, with the price that he went to Philly for, I don't think we would have paid that. No, we decided to use a lot of that money on Michael Brantley, who will be on the DL to start the season. Of course. Of course. Freaking bum. Freaking can't even stay healthy. Damn, bro. We wasted $12 million a year on a freaking injured left fielder. 
Good going, Indians. Good going. But hey, you know who we replaced Santana with? Yonder Alonso. And to be honest, he can actually rake. I like him. I believe the first time he had a home run in the spring training, he said money over bitches. Let's get it. <laughs> I think that's what he said. I heard that's what he said. Can't really confirm. But yeah, that's freaking lit if he said that. Damn, he's a savage. But of course, we still got Edwin Encarnacion, so we're going to see a lot of the parrot this year. We still got Frankie. We still got Jose. We still got Kipnis. We good. I just wish Michael Brantley could stay healthy. Here's another good feel-good story for you. Rajay Davis, who hit one of the most lit home runs in Indians postseason history, has made the team. That's freaking lit. Now we should have Rajay and Bradley Zimmer race to see who is really the fastest. There's going to be a lot of stolen bases this year between Rajay Davis and Bradley Zimmer. And here's another one, too. Mike Napoli. Well, he sort of made the team. <laughs> He's in the minor leagues. But uh, in case of injury or whatever, he could be called up. And that means we're going to have a party at Napoli's, baby. Let's get it. Oh, man. It's been a while since I could say that. But, uh, yeah. I'm really excited for this season. Of course, like I said, got to wait until 10 o'clock tomorrow night. But I'm fine with that. You know, Indians baseball is back. And I hope this year we can finish it off and uh, this season will end, hopefully, with a World Series title. That would be so freaking lit. You can't even imagine. But yeah, uh, that's going to do it for this video. I'm Crazy Dog 99 Roll Tribe. Let's get this thing going. I'm out.